I'm Richard Taylor, it's the 28th of June 2012 and I'm here outside Cambridgeshire Police Headquarters in Huntingdon where I've just observed a police authority meeting. The main thing on the agenda um, this afternoon's meeting was the privatisation of the back office or operational support aspects of um, the police to private company G4S. The police authority approved um, putting together a business case for this um, with Hertfordshire and Bedfordshire. Uh, however, they also uh, um, asked their chief constable to try and work up a plan B. Uh, it wasn't clear what the um, plan B would involve. The chief constable has been given quite a, um, a broad mandate to go and explore what could happen. But the authority noted that Hertfordshire Police Authority are only looking at the G4S option. So it's looking as if um, some kind of three-force arrangement that doesn't involve G4S might not be possible unless Hertfordshire Police Authority change their mind. The meeting was very well attended, incredibly well attended for a police authority meeting. Um, some 60 or so uh, members of the public were present. Usually it's just me and one other. Um, many of those were um, union representatives, there were police staff, there were a couple of um, police officers there and there were a smattering of um, members of the public who were interested as well. The public speaking slot was a bit of a farce, as it often is at police authority meetings, with um, public questioners only being allowed to read out the, the text of their questions. Um, when I was asked to, or allowed to speak, I noted the fact that I had asked to film the meeting this afternoon, um, but the chair had ruled um, that that was not going to be allowed. Um, I um, was able to, to say that um, when I was um, allowed to ask my public question. I then asked a public question on um, what's essentially privatising another bit of the police, the front end, giving police powers to um, security guards, bouncers uh, and similar people. This was something that um, Councillor um, Kevin Wilkins, um, a Liberal Democrat from Cambridge, who's a member of the Police Authority, uh, later um, took up um, later on in the meeting when, when the, um, the relevant paper was, um, was before the authority. Um, he got an assurance from the Chief Constable that what was happening is the um, police are not trying to push this kind of thing out, they're merely responding to requests. And he was also got the assurance that, that, um, that I was looking for that there will be proper consultation with um, local authorities when um, schemes like that are, are being proposed. I made clear that I very much oppose those schemes because it makes it really unclear for the public uh, as to who they're dealing with, whether they're dealing with someone with police powers or not. And it also puts the reputation of the police force into the hands of um, people like bouncers and security guards. Uh, and I think that the reputation of the police is, is such a valuable thing that we should be keeping it um, close in hand uh, and with um, police officers. Every concerns raised about moving to G4S seem to um, go around staffing which wasn't discussing any, any real depth at all and flexibility. In other words, what, if we have to change what we're asking for from the um, private company, um, what will happen? Will that be where they um, try and make their profits and try and ramp up their, um, their charges? In terms of staffing, we heard a little bit about, um, obviously there's a, a legal requirement for um, staff who are transferred from the police to the, the company to have their terms and conditions um, maintained. However, what we didn't hear about is what would happen to any new staff. Uh, and also, we, we didn't hear much about um, redundancies either. So there were an awful lot of unanswered questions. I say, in, in that element of the meeting, unanswered questions were, um, were, were the norm. And what we were told is, well, we'll get the answers um, when a full business case is, um, is available. We also heard that Bedfordshire Police Authority had made clear that it would be a decision for the incoming Police and Crime Commissioner whether or not to go ahead with the privatisation of the police back office. Um, that appears to also be the view of Cambridgeshire Police Authority, although they're saying bring the report, bring the business case whenever it's ready, but they're not expecting it to come to the Police Authority, they're expecting it to be something that will be um, for a decision for the Commissioner. The Chief Constable noted that the um, incoming Commissioner will have to make a decision on this very rapidly, perhaps in their first month, and also make a decision on the level of the precept, um, and those two decisions will be uh, interrelated. One of the key points of debate was what the G4S privatisation option should be compared with. Chief officers told the authority that the Treasury insisted that the comparator is do nothing. However, the authority made clear that what they want to see is options for the force itself doing a do-it-yourself approach to um, making savings and reforming their service uh, with the option for G4S and that, that those two options will be um, made available to the incoming Police and Crime Commissioner. The proposals to privatise the back office or operational support part of the police have been worked up in joint working groups between Cambridgeshire, Bedfordshire and Hertfordshire Police Authorities. Now those meetings are not open to the public and this afternoon was the first time that we'd heard 
sort of how these proposals had been developed. Cambridge Liberal Democrat Councillor Kevin Wilkins was the only member of the authority who did not vote to support um, the preparation of a business case for privatising the back office operational support part of policing with G4S. The rest of the meeting, um, once the majority of the members of the public had disappeared, um, and in fact a number of the um, members of the authority um, started um, disappearing as well, it was all um, run through incredibly quickly. Um, the accounts were dealt with. Um, Briefly, only a summary version of the accounts was even brought before the authority, not the full copy. Um, the Chief Constable's annual report was brought before the committee, that was passed with, with no debate. Tasers were briefly mentioned by Councillor Victor Lucas. He noted that he'd read a report um, in the press that uh, two um, police officers had been shot while they held an individual who was being tasered. Um, the Chief Constable said he hadn't heard of this, um, it wasn't something that had happened in Cambridgeshire, but that Cambridgeshire's training would be updated um, to reflect what had happened. The Chief Constable doesn't always attend police authority meetings in uniform, but he did today. I think that was apparently because he had been doing television and radio interviews beforehand.